and the backup point guard skills. Miles, the big block, Cook misses the three-pointer. Randolph showing some ball handling skills for a 270-pounder, and the finger roll finished by Miles. Man, Duhon may be best uh, at a two, but he will no doubt see a lot of action at the point at Duke. Randolph leaves it off the glass for Andre Brown out of Chicago Leo High School, a future DePaul Blue Demon. Not atypical at all. Brown overthrowing Miles, he runs it down and feeds Randolph. First field goal for Zach. Randolph, 6'9", 270. He figures eventually will play the three, the small forward that Morris Peterson has been handling for the last four years. Coaches today said that if you're looking for a diamond in the rough from what they've seen in practice, Zach Randolph is the man. He's going to be playing for Tom Izzo. And there's a story about how Tom Izzo, after a, a late-season game, seen a nice finish in the paint against Purdue, in which he didn't like his team's toughness. Tom Izzo brought out shoulder pads and helmets and let his players play practice like that for a few minutes. Zach Randolph seems like he'd fare very well in that type of track. Looks like he already wears shoulder pads. <laughs> oh, a little bit bigger at 6'9", even. Yep, long arms. Look at Randolph handled the ball. 6'9", 270 baseline <laughs> to bucket. Man. You just don't see this from a guy this young, that size. No, he's a bull in the china shop, and I can promise you that nobody's going to take a charge on that runaway train. And, and if we're talking about comparisons here, how about Carlos Boozer at Duke? Same kind of body, same kind of skills with the ball. Boddicker missing the three. Randolph out battling Neil Singleton again. Well, it is not hard at all to imagine him in that uniform playing their style. Well, again, challenged by the 7-6 Dingleton, who blocks Boddicker. Harper stolen by Duhon. Three on none, Randolph in a generous mood, and Brian Boddicker gets his first two. And I can promise you this. I don't care what kind of dunk I see. That play from Zach Randolph is my play of the game. He could have dunked it, but he gave it up to his teammates. I'm, uh, I'm so impressed with that. That's, that's what it's all about right there, Dave. Exceptional on and off the court with a 95 average in the classroom out of 100, Dave. Randolph back in for the West and running the floor as he has all night. Here he is. Already getting some advice from his future college coach, Tommy Amaker, a former ACC Defensive Player of the Year, and he wanted to work on his defense in this game to impress Coach Amaker. It's not only the premier high school basketball uh, showcase in the country with the world's best high school players, but it also raises money for a good cause, the Ronald McDonald's House Charities. And this thing just keeps getting bigger and better every year, doesn't it? Well, this is fantastic. And the crowd here in Boston, you can't believe it. Actually, this is a record crowd for us with over 18,000 people. So we thank the city and we thank the fans. Still on 20. Duhon to Zach Randolph. Missing the lefty scoop. Randolph's team just beat Jared Jeffries' Bloomington North High School team for the Indiana State Championship. Randolph gets it this time. Randolph a couple of times ducking underneath Neil Fingleton. Harper alley -oop. no finish by Rolando Howe. A few misfires tonight. Randolph with his own miss. 12 of his 21 points now for Zach Randolph here in the second half. Boniker knocked it right into the hands of Omar Cook. Duhon for Randolph. Another miss slam. Jeffries gets it. And someone that's going to give him a run for MVP is Zach Randolph right there. He has 21 points and 13 rebounds. Boniker missing a three back to Taylor. West taking three point target practice and Randolph finally with the 10. Excuse me, 23 points, 14 rebounds. 